everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a soak off and a full set so first thing that i'm doing is i'm going in with my tip cutter to cut down all of the nails after that i'm going to go in and remove all of the bling it's really important that you go ahead and cut the nails all the way down that way you're not just soaking off unnecessary product so once we finish removing the bling, we're going to go in with a coarse drill bed and we're going to be removing the gel polish and also thinning down the acrylic as much as you can. That way we have a faster soak off. So again, removing the gel polish and thinning down the acrylic. And then again, this is a coarse drill bed. So we're almost done removing all of the gel polish and thinning down the acrylic and after that we're going to be using our little soak off bows and we're using pure acetone that's the only thing that's going to soak off your acrylic is pure acetone so we're going to let those nails soak for about 20 to 30 minutes and after that the acrylic will be completely soaked off after that we're going to go ahead and prep the nails so i've already pushed the cuticles back and now i'm going in with a 180 sanding pen to remove the shine from the natural nail you want to make sure that you don't use anything more coarse than a 180 because you will damage the natural nail so again we're just removing the shine making sure we get around that cuticle area really really good and then after that we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other hand except for this other hand is still soaking so we're going to be wiping off the remainder of the acrylic on the nails which is already soaked off so i'm literally just using a paper towel and just wiping that acrylic off pushing back those cuticles and it's really important that you push the cuticles back because it exposes your new growth and it minimizes lifting so once we push back the cuticles we're going to go in and file the natural nail to remove the shine from the natural nail again this is a 180 sanding band Alrighty, so we're done removing the shine from the natural nails. So now we're going to go in and apply the nail tips. So as always, I'm using my KDS glue. And then these nail tips are the ones that are a bit thinner from the nail supply store. But since they're going to be super short, that's why I decided to just go ahead and use those. And then also the way her nail is, like her nail bed is really flat. So I like to use these nail tips. That way she at least have like a little curve in her nail. Um, but anyways, remember that nail tips come in either a 10 to 0 or nine to zero sometimes it's a little bit different depending on the company but 10 will always be your smallest nail tip and then number zero and one will be your biggest nail tip which will be your thumbs so you want to make sure that when you're applying nail tips you make sure that the nail tip goes from sidewall to sidewall you don't want the tip being too small because if not it's going to cause lifting or it's going to eventually crack 
so if one tip is too small and the other one is too big for a set certain finger you want to make sure you use the bigger nail tip and just file down the size to make it fit perfectly if you just glue it on and it's too big then of course it's going to come off because it's too big and it's going to cause the acrylic to lift so make sure that you file your tip down on the sides if you need to to make it fit perfectly and once we finish applying the nail tips of course since she wants them short we're gonna go ahead and trim them down and i do want to let you know that i did mess up my tip cutter by cutting the acrylic nails with them it just messed it up so you will see me going in and using a straight edge nail clipper as you can see here it wasn't cutting all the way through so i'm just using a straight edge nail clipper to trim down the nails and i went ahead and already ordered a new tip cutter so we're just cutting them super super short and with the straight edge nail clipper as you can see i cut one side and then i go over to the other side and just cut all the way through After that, we're going to go in and just shape our nails. So we're going to be doing squared. So we're going to file the sides at a 90 degree angle. And same thing for the free edge to make sure that the tip is super, super straight. And we have that perfect sharp squared. And after that, we're also going to make sure that we blend the tips in really good in the middle to make sure that once we apply the acrylic, the nails look a little bit more natural. So again, we're just shaping the nails, filing the sides and the free edge at a 90 degree angle to make sure that they're super straight. So now I'm just going to dust the nails off and I'm going to go in with my primer. So same as always, I'm using my OPI Bondex and I use OPI primer because I have a lot of it. But I do recommend you use the same primer or the same brand as your acrylic system. So we applied that on the natural nail and now we're going to be applying the acrylic. So for that, I'm using my Mia Secret Acrylic System in the color pink and I'm using my alpha brush in a number nine in an oval shape. So for these smaller nails, I'm gonna be trying to do a one bar method, which I'm not super good at it, but I'm definitely gonna be trying. And it's just harder to do the four bar method with short nails because you would have to use just a little bit of acrylic at a time because the nails are not you know super long as you can see but i applied one bead over the whole nail and then i'm coming back in and applying a second bead which basically is going to give me my apex and then making sure that i wipe that free edge really good and also wiping the cuticle area really good as well to make sure that we don't have any acrylic on that cuticle Thank you. 
So same thing, we're gonna go ahead and place that bead closer to the cuticle area, patting it down, and then brushing it down towards the tip, making sure that we wipe our brush off a lot while we're working. That way, all of that acrylic does not get stuck in our brush. And then just go back and apply more acrylic if you need it. But if you're good at the one ball method, then this should only take one ball or one bead of acrylic and it's gonna make it really nice and simple for you but I honestly have never done the one ball method because I've never been able to do it so I like to just go in and add acrylic as I need it which is easier for me um, but it's really gonna be the same thing for all of the nails of course it's not gonna take as much acrylic because they're super short but usually like one or two beads will be good enough for these short nails
So we're almost done applying the acrylic. So we're literally doing the same thing over and over again. Grab a bead, placing it closely to the cuticle area, patting it down, making sure that you're really, really gentle when you're brushing because you don't want to brush all of that product off the nail. You just want to move it down towards the tip. And then we're going to go in and apply another bead, which is going to give us an apex because even though they're short, you still want them to be nice and strong. So if you hit them on something, they're not going to break off super easily. And then another important thing is making sure that we go back and clean around that cuticle area really good. That way we don't get any lifting. So once we finish applying the acrylic, we're going to go in and reshape the nails. So same thing as always, we literally just want to redefine the shape because after we finish applying the acrylic, it does take away from our shape and it gives us rough edges. So we literally just go in and refile the nails. And then after that, we're going to go in with our e-file to file the rest of the nails. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with my fine drill bed and this is my ceramic one and I'm switching back and forth from this one and my new gold drill bed just because the gold one is still pretty sharp and I don't want to cut anyone so I'm still using the ceramic one which is still working pretty good but sometimes it leaves like a line down the line but I just kind of learned to buff it off but I do need to just keep using my gold one so I can just break it in really good but as always we file around that cuticle area just going back and forth back and forth until we're able to see where the cuticle is where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is that way we don't get any lifting and also making sure that we go through and file the rest of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth and of course if you are a beginner you might have a little bit more filing to do depending on how you're able to lay your acrylic if you're able to lay it really nice and smooth then of course you just have to focus around that cuticle area but if it's it's pretty lumpy and thick then of course you will have to do more filing to make sure that they're all nice and even and then I also want to mention that I've had people asking me how do you get the nails so smooth well first is your application how are you applying the acrylic are you applying it really lumpy it could be your acrylic it could be your brush that's not letting you apply the acrylic very smoothly but if it's just you applying too much acrylic then the only way to get them really nice and smooth is literally just filing and filing and filing 
really really good until they're all nice and even and you're gonna have to pay attention to when you're falling and look at the nail from different angles to make sure that you're watching it like even out and then after that we're just gonna buff and that's just gonna give it that really really smooth surface So now I'm just going to go in with a buffer and this is just going to make sure that all of the nails are nice and smooth and it's going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nail from our e-file or our hand file. So we literally just buff our nail away and then if you feel like it's taken away from the shape then always just go back and reshape the nails a little bit because sometimes I do tend to hit the corners with the buffer or the e-file and it kind of rounds off the corners so you will see me go back and reshape some of the nails sometimes not just this set but really all of my sets After that, we're just going to go ahead and wipe the nails off with an alcohol wipe or you can have your client go wash their hands, whatever works best for you. And then we're going to start the polish application. So it's going to be really nice and simple. We're going to be doing Just My Lug by Color Club on the pinkies, which will be bling nails. And then the rest of the nails are going to be in the color be the one by madam glam which is a gel polish as you guys know i just love their gel polishes and i probably always say that in all of my videos but it's definitely the true so we're going to be doing two coats on each finger and curing each coat for 30 seconds and then to clean around the cuticle area i'm going to be using my alpha brush which is a french brush and a number six and I do have a promo code for them, so I'll be sure to leave the link in the description. But I, so you guys know, I also love their brushes. That's all I use is Alpha Brush. And again, I do have a promo code for them, which makes everything better. And I'll be sure to leave that down in a description. And this color is actually really, really pretty. We were looking for like a, a nudish peach color. And this was definitely like that and more. Like it was so pretty.
we're going to go ahead and put that one under the light for 30 seconds and we're going to go ahead and do a second coat on this hand and once we're done with the second coat on this hand we're going to let this cure for 30 seconds and then same thing for the other hand and even though the madame glam polishes do have a really good coverage with just one coat i like to always just go in and do a second coat no matter what because that's just what you're supposed to do and it just makes them really nice and flawless and it just brings out the color even more I sprayed that pinky with the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the IBD Gel Top Coat on the rest of the nails and we're going to cure this for 60 seconds.
Alrighty, y'all so here is the final look i know you guys aren't used to me doing really short nails but this set is just flawless like the perfect length and they're just so freaking cute so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on facebook and instagram at get 32 and i'll see you guys next time